Drones are amazing. But did you know every time your drone takes off, it's broadcasting information to the public? This year, drone laws in USA and elsewhere have changed. And if you're a drone pilot, you must know what remote ID is before your next flight. Stay tuned to learn how this affects your drone flying and what you need to do to stay compliant. Remote ID is like a digital license plate for your drone. Every time your drone flies, it's broadcasting its location, your location, as well as a unique identifier. And this affects all drone pilots, whether you're a pro or just flying for fun. So, who exactly needs to follow these rules? In short, almost everybody. If your drone is above 250 grams, and if it's registered within the FAA, you need to follow the guidelines according to the remote ID. Remote ID compliance is mandatory, whether you're flying for fun or doing commercial flights under Part 107. And even recreational pilots are bound by this law, except for those flying really lightweight drones. But there are exceptions. If your drone is unregistered or under 250 grams and flown for recreational purposes only, you're in the clear, for now. There's also the option to fly in FAA-designated flying areas called FRIAs. But you might be wondering, so what information is exactly broadcasted? Your drone sends its location, altitude, speed, and even your location out to the public. So it's a bit like turning your drone into a Wi-Fi hotspot which means that anybody, including law enforcement and other members of the public, can uh, pick up this signal and find out all this information that your drone is broadcasting. There's a lot of concern about this, especially from the point of view of privacy and security. Think about it. Anybody with the right app can pick up your drones and your location. However, it's not as bad as it seems. Complying with remote ID depends on your drone. If you have a newer drone, for example, made by DJI, you, it already has inbuilt uh, remote ID. This means you simply need to make sure that your drone is updated to the latest firmware and you are good to go. However, if your drone does not have already inbuilt remote ID, this means you might need to purchase an additional remote ID module, which can cost anywhere between $60 and $300. However, it's still better than facing some hefty fines from the FAA. You might be thinking though, what about privacy? Am I safe while complying with this law? Privacy has been one of the biggest concerns related to the remote ID. Pilots are worrying that anybody with the right app are able to track both their location and their drone's location. But now let's try and break down why actually remote ID is better, both for pilots and members of the public. Firstly, the information that's being broadcast is limited. So the drone transmits its location, speed, altitude, as well as its unique identifier and the pilot's location. However, what's important is that it's not being transmitted to any centralized database. So all of this information is being transmitted locally over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. What this means is that the FAA or the police, they're not actively collecting your information. It's not being stored anywhere. It's only being broadcast over local uh, networks such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Only when there has been some safety incident, only then will they look into the details of your flight. Drones are increasingly being flown in public spaces, over people, near stadiums, airports, and so on. With Remote ID, local law enforcement, as well as other authorized personnel, are able to quickly identify nearby drones as well as the location of those operators. And this rapid identification can help prevent accidents and unauthorized flights, which could put lives at risk. For the general public, Remote ID helps just to keep a peace of mind. Imagine being in some park and seeing a drone overhead. Now you can just open up an app and you can see its drone, where its operator is, and the drone's purpose. This transparency can help reduce unnecessary fear and ensure the drones are being used responsibly. And Remote ID offers a good balance between accountability and security. And now, by making flight information accessible in a limited way, this ensures that pilots who are flying legally and responsibly have nothing to worry about. And in fact, the system protects the pilots by making it clear that they are following the rules, reducing unnecessary misunderstandings and confrontations. Key takeaway, be informed and stay compliant. Now, it's not the end of the world, but certainly a new chapter for drone pilots. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more updates on drone news, tips and tricks and so on. Let us know your thoughts on Remote ID in the comments below. What do you think about it? Is it useful or is it an invasion of privacy? Let us know, and as always, fly safe.